Hi, this is Jay Sen. I am really excited to introduce another crowdfunder to our worldwide community. And today we're talking with Robert Woodhead. He is out of North Carolina. And it's really exciting to have him because what he's doing is really different, but also crosses art and crosses film and crosses uh, multiculturalism. So it's going to be really exciting. So Robert, could you just say hi and just to everyone and just introduce yourself? Well, thanks, Jay. Um, I'm Robert Woodhead. Uh, for about the past 25 years, uh, I've been releasing uh, Japanese animated and live action films here in the United States. We were one of the first companies to really do that. Um, and um, for the about the past three years, I've been working on using crowdfunding to explore new ways of um, delivering uh, digital content in uh, an environment where the bits are available for free. And so I'm looking at using it uh, to experiment with new releasing models. That's great. And so um, it's going to be really interesting to talk to Robert. We have a lot of filmmakers. We have a lot of international folks. And I think that what you're doing is obviously getting a lot of support. Robert's current campaign has already raised $90,000 with 1,000 backers. And this is his fourth campaign. So that's great. Um, so we'll talk about that and the journey he's gone through. And um, we'll see him and get into details in the Educator series. So we'll stay, stay tuned for that. Robert, um, could you just give a quick um, introduction to how just your business works and then we'll talk about why crowdfunding. You're, are you an animator or are you a sort of a distribution expert? Uh, uh, expert, maybe a strong word. Uh, what uh, Animago has specialized in for about 25 years is uh, licensing Japanese uh, films, first anime, um, now live action as well. Um, doing really good translations, subtitling, dubbing, um, producing cultural notes that uh, sort of give the American uh, viewer the, the same sort of cultural background and understanding as, as the original Japanese viewers. And then releasing them first on VHS, Laserdisc, DVD, now Blu-ray. Um, and... Um, so uh, over those years, we've, we've gained a lot of experience both on the business end and also on the creative end of properly presenting uh, films for, the, for uh, English-speaking audiences. What, what, I, uh, what I really like about that, I, I will just share um, briefly, is one of my favorite films um, is uh, a Japanese film. Well, there's a couple of them, Akira, and then that's obviously a very famous one. And then there's the um, the one that has Mugen, which is um, Samurai Champloo, I think. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I loved about it, those two films in particular, were that even though I was watching them in English, uh, the the sense of it, the subtitles. When I watched it with subtitles with a Japanese sound, it had a lot of nuance. And then also when I watched it in English, it was also pretty amazing. So bringing those films over, different kinds of films, that those obviously are different maybe from the ones you're doing, but just relating to the value of being able to bring films and add that cultural context is pretty awesome. It's pretty incredible. Um, so you've been around for, Animigo has been around, you said, for quite a, long, quite a while now. You said how many years is it? 25. Wow, okay. So now let's talk about a little bit about crowdfunding. So you're already successful. You've already brought over a lot of these films from uh, Jap Japan into into U.S. and into the West. Um, what what sort of got you interested in crowdfunding? Well, um, as technology has has changed the the way people watch films, um, creators uh, in traditional forms like like film animation and such are sort of faced with a, a significant problem, which is that the cost of transmitting a film over, um, over, over the internet is basically zero. And so the problem is, you know, how do you sell something when anybody can make a copy for free? Uh, That's so, interesting. So you're saying that basically when um, you have this, you have kind of a two two tier um, challenge. One is that you're bringing a film from another country into the West, 
So there's a lot of cultural aspects and, and those kinds of things that you can add value on. But the other side, as you're saying, is that digital makes uh, transmission, you know, kind of very low barrier, right? So how do you how do you add value? How do you add value so people will want exactly? To it's what extra value can you provide? And so starting about three years ago, I started really thinking about this because I, I recognized that that um, the traditional distribution methods were eventually going to basically curl up and die. Um, and so, you know, what was it that, um, you know, creators and translators like, like myself uh, could do to, uh, to provide value in, in this sort of new environment? Um, 